in this video I am going to explain how to do simple exponential smoothing using Excel. I will explain all these things using R in detail later on. So why do we use simple exponential smoothing? When we don't have any trend or season in our data, then we try to use it season. So if we don't have any seasonal prominent uh, dominant pattern or trend data, we use uh, this simple exponential smoothing for forecasting next period. So I am using here forecast value for next alpha into yt uh, 1 minus alpha into forecast the previous period forecast. So actually equation is like this way alpha into yt alpha into 1 minus yt minus 1 alpha 1 minus alpha square and in this way you can uh, uh, do backward substitution. What do we basically mean here that we give more weightage to recent value and less weightage to the previous values. So usually alpha is between 0 and 1. If a alpha is close to 0, we say that this process is slow learning process. If alpha is close to 1, we say it's a fast learning process. So here you can see these values, uh, the, the alpha when alpha is 0 0.2, the next value will get at 0.16 and so on. So you can you can work with this. At the moment I am going to work with Excel. At the moment I am going to work with how, how I can do it in Excel. So <clears throat> this is a plotted series. This is my plotted series. <clears throat> So we have values here, January, February, March, April, so on, and we are going to forecast it for January 12. So the first value will be usually because if you don't have FT value, it will be NA, not available. This one will be B2. Now in this case, for this value, you see, I have named basically this one as alpha. So alpha into B3, which is your YT and 1 minus alpha into C3, which is your previous forecast. And for the next one, you have here, I have also rounded it. So alpha into B4, 1 minus alpha into C4. If I press control tilde, this will, this will basically give you the whole formula. Control tilde, this will give you the whole formula as well. So you can see this formula and I have uh, basically uh, rounded to one decimal place. And no press control tilde, just this tilde is up, uh, 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 next to one uh, key. So now you can have these values here. So if I plot these values and I can forecast it for January 12. I can forecast it for January 12 by using this one. Now what should be the value of alpha? What should be the value of alpha? That's the point. Now you see in this case, I am taking the error, forecast error, B3 minus the forecast value, B4 minus forecast value. So now I am taking absolute error. I am taking absolute error and I should write it as absolute error and this is my percentage error. What is percentage error? The error I have in absolute out of actual as percentage. You can, you can express this as percentage and this is sum of squares of errors. This is your sum of squares of errors. So now it's up to you whether you want to minimize mean absolute error mean percentage absolute error or you want to minimize square errors and what value of alpha should be selected so that it gives you optimal value of this or minimum mean square error or minimum mean percentage error or minimum absolute error. So if I write down here alpha 0.1 so you will see that my line will be this line the smooth, this is smooth line. This line will be like this way. I just place here. So this is the smooth. Now if I change this to 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.
my smoothing this 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 is this see the line is changing if i so what value of alpha should i select so for that you can minimize this sum of squares of error which i have written here by choosing this point 3 so if you go to data solver and so i'm going to minimize this value by changing what alpha since we know that alpha cannot be uh, greater than 1 or it cannot be less than 1 so we have put a restriction here so i am going to solve it now so it's solving it's using different values of alpha and it will give me a result for which you have minimum sum of squares so if i take this so this alpha 0.75 gives you uh, you see for this particular data uh, the best results so you, this is this is what is simple exponential smoothing when we have trend we have alpha and beta two parameters then we may use hold and similarly hold winter method i will also explain these methods using r in detail stay in touch take care